Hi everybody, it's Ray, it's Life and Vibe, and we have finished our extended boycott of watching Sarasota Tim for a week, and I just wanted to pop over, see what content he has for his audience to watch, and um, before we get started, let me just put out my, my fair use statements, this is a video for entertainment purposes only, and even though I am a registered nurse here in the United States, and trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, I do not treat or diagnose, and these are only my opinions and my opinions only. Yeah, so Tim took some time yesterday uploading his content, let me make me small and let's make him big. He took some time uploading his content. And I think the reason being is that he wanted to actually get some editing done. And so we're going to take a quick look at his videos. He's put out, obviously, the idea of being quality, sorry, quantity over quality, I should say. So he puts out an immense number of videos. And any YouTuber who understands vlogging and wants to make it successful will know that you really should make sure that the quality is there not the quantity, but Tim just spits out video after video. And it's always about the same stuff. So he did take some time to upload yesterday. He put out four videos. Uh, one is, you know, him walking around and it's hashtag social security, but he's at lover's point. So I think he's just using hashtags to kind of gain audiences, even though he has no expertise in social security whatsoever. He then went to a restaurant. He then showed some shopping. And then he, you know, had that lovely gentleman, Hilton Tom, who I hope somebody is contacting the Hilton organization to let them know just the type of employee that they have working for him because Hilton Tom is quite quite a character. Go check out uh, Lola Oil's video on how wonderful Hilton Tom is. Mm, really nice guy. <laughs> so yeah, he just spits it out. So yeah, let's get over to the one we're going to actually take a look at today. I have sped Tim up to 1.5. I decided to take a look at the Pacific Grove, California, Lover's Point, amazing hashtag social security, hashtag Monterey Bay, God knows what else hashtags he's using. Um, and we'll take a look at this one. And uh, this is my first time watching this video. I've watched about the first two seconds. Um, so it's going to be a full-on uh, reaction with commentary. All right, Tim. We haven't missed you, but take it away. Hey, everybody. Sarah Silver Tim. I am in Pine Grove, <laughs> oh, California. Oh, All you right. Me about Hold this place, on. And you were right. Uh, after leaving the uh, uh, video. Hold on. I wanted to stop. It took me a moment to find my stop key there. <laughs> we got to go back. We got to go back and look at this title here. I guess Tim discovered he has some type of editing software on his phone or an editing app, uh, potentially iMovie. I'm not sure what type of phone he has. And uh, <laughs> I just love the fact that he's got obviously Pacific Grove, California, but he's still got title text here and title text here. <laughs> just shows you after so many years of this gentleman, loosely said, creating content that <laughs> is what he puts out. Is that what took you all day, Tim? Goodness. All right. We're off to a great start. <laughs> all right. California. A few of you told me about this place and you were right. Uh, after leaving um, video in Carmel, this is a very spacious, a little more open. And we're going to go down one of these streets in just a minute. Like it so far. I'm surprised you like it, Tim, because it's actually quaint and has some character. And you generally like a bleak looking industrial parking lot or a commercial center or a Walmart. So I'm surprised that you actually like anything with character. Maybe it's just because you know that your audience is more interested in that than you are because you like everything brand spanking new. All right, we're back on the video. Check this out. Pine Grove is neat. Pacific Grove tourist. Is that supposed to be funny because they don't know how to spell the word tourist? Tourist? I'm, is that French? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I mean, we are off to a great start. 
misspelling words and leaving things like title text and using emojis. Mm. It's just the quality of this content is just awesome. Keep going. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Lover's Point. I saw a sign back there that said that. But there's this real green, uh, grassy park here. Look at that. Lover's Point, maybe, huh? Check it out. You see a lot of the beach area over there. You know that saying. I guess Miss Tammy's doing the camera work because we see that the device that holds the phone is empty. I'm guessing she is the camera person and that Tim maybe actually knows that he could not be holding a phone and filming in California because that's a big no no. Gotta pull it in here and check it out if this jogger goes by. Mm. Just look, folks. Doxing everybody. Look at these trees. What type of trees are they? That'd be interesting to know. Oh, wow. You can walk out through the rocks. How cool would that be? Want to go do that, Tammy? Sure. Oh, she's oh, place to park. So exciting. Look at them, man. They got their little spot right there. These people are. Tim's going to want to hope there's free parking, and Tammy is as exciting of a personality as she ever is. <laughs> Looking large. All right, let's see if we can find a place to park. Free parking. So parking is going to be at a premium, folks. I got one. No. <laughs> what was I thinking? Well, I can't even go in here and turn around. What if I could park right there in front of that hedge? Oh. Looks like it's free. <laughs> oh, to, right there. What do you think? All right, everybody. We're here in Pacific Grove. What a shocker. Tim looking for free parking. Who would have guessed it? I guess nobody was sponsoring his parking today. Parking sponsored by Parking Lot Incorporated. We finally... Uh, found a parking space. Look at this parking space I got, baby, right here in front of this house. I'm not impeding his walkway. I don't even think anybody lives here, to be honest with you. And then look, this little Chevy works, doesn't it? Look at that. So it is a much warmer temperature now. Well, I wouldn't say much warmer, but it is a lot uh, nicer. Sailboat. Sailboat's going out. Mm -hmm. Photo bomber. <laughs> <laughs> People are weird. Oh my God, doxing children. So this They're is like, a why are you filming hotel. me? There's free yeah, flower parking rooms. right there. Yeah, right here on the ocean. No telling what they get. AAA approved though. <laughs> what is that? They love the parents for two hours. <laughs> Another hotel. Well, that's the Borgs there. Yeah. This one is uh, Borgs as well. Yeah. Borgs is big. <laughs> 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 hey, where's your shoe? Oh my goodness. Let's not dox people and their children. Okay. I just think that's so uh, just <sighs> point and shoot, point and shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's your shoe on there, sweetie? Oh for goodness. <laughs> you don't even like oh. your own children. Allegedly. Two hour parking. Well, we won't be here two hours. Here's a restaurant here. Lover's Point restaurant. I wonder if you could Google good restaurants in Pacific Grove. Uh, check out this car right here. Look at this. That's pretty cool. Neat car. Hey, look at this uh, this mark right here. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can cross over without getting killed. We're going to go to Lover's Point Park over here. There's the Lover's Point Inn. The restaurant smells pretty good. Uh, I guess Tammy and Tim are screaming... We're tourists. We're tourists. Because <laughs> he's certainly not acting like a professional YouTube vlogger. I mean, for all the time that he has been doing this craft, supposedly, at least it's very pretty. I live at the oceanfront Virginia Beach area, so but the trees by the beach are nice. Very busy, obviously. Lover's point. Uh, like Tammy and Tim have any chemistry between each other. You got to be careful walking over. This guy wants to turn. Let's go. I like all the dogs. Dogs are the best. Oh, the part. Dog. oh my gosh. Look at that dog. So let's go on over here and check this out. Walk around. Mm. Just because everybody wants to be doxxed in your video today, Tim. I guess you can actually walk out on those rocks. But first, let's walk the path and see what the folks are doing out here in uh, what's the name of it again? Uh, yeah. Where are we at? <laughs> Pelican Cove. 
Where am I at? <laughs> I'm so glad that we get to understand why it was originally called Lover's Point and some history. But no, we got Woody Woodpecker laughing over here, just talking and point shoot, point shoot. Quality content, Tim. I'm already bored and I've got you sped at 1.5. <laughs> Forgot already. Yeah, where are we at? What's the name of this place? Pine Grove. Got it. So I got the, uh, I'll zoom in for you guys for a moment. Look at the beaches and everything way over there. I'll kind of pan slowly. Because I need to dox everybody who's trying to enjoy their beach day. Man, the weather is now the 10. Let's make it a nine because it's a little, a little coolness in the breeze. <laughs> but uh, folks, basking in the sun, laying on the grass, California style. This is it, man. This is it. Yeah, it's cold, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, maybe let's back it down to an eight out of 10. Look at this umbrella blowing around over there. This is a uh, lover's point. Look at this tree. I mean, look at this tree. Look at those people. The weather is eight out of 10. Uh, is there a temperature that we get with the eight out of 10? Oh, it's breezy. <laughs> Keep going with the quality. Let me, oh, I got to zoom in too much for you guys. Sorry. Mm. Oh, look, there's a beach. <laughs> you walk down that point there, too. A little lookout spot. Oh, God, right point, and, point and shape. Wow, look how clear that water is. I see a guy skinning it in there. Look at this guy skinning it. Man, I wonder what the water temperature is. Oh, I guy's got his full wetsuit on over there. My. I'm just still enjoying my best cup of coffee ever before it gets cold. So I apologize if I'm sipping along the way. I know some people don't like to see us do that. But I, I need something to keep me fueled to get through this 18 minutes almost of just sheer point and shoot, no information. And hashtag with social security for some reason. I guess because Tim Libin is best life ever retired. My gosh. Right. Some of some small beaches around here. Look at these guys hugged up against this wall here. They got it going on, don't they? They own it. Sammy. Just for the weather. You know, there's a lot of places in California that you can be, this is one of the nicest ones. It's got a certain feel about it, of all the beaches I've been to, especially like in California, um, I'm trying to say Florida, especially in Florida. Can't get over how clear this water is though. But uh, Florida beaches are so different. Uh, this is just, so it's undescribable. Well, because Florida is on the Atlantic Ocean and California is on the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> that could be part of the reason why. Oh, way the people are chilling out, the trees, this cool air, man. It doesn't seem like a, a beach weather, but people are charging it. They they love it because they're in the sunshine, they're not burning up hot. They still got easy ups and things though, to, you know, because I got my son, my son. Uh, you do realize it's a Sunday, so for those who have prison jobs, Tim, it might be the one day of the week they get to go out and be with their families, and it's also the end of the Fourth of July weekend. So a lot of people might have had a long weekend as well to enjoy. They might have taken Friday off since 4th of July fell on a Thursday and get a nice four-day weekend. Have you considered that? Or is it just about you and everything revolve around you? Oh, that's right. Everything revolves around you. I forgot. Sorry. I hadn't watched him for a while. I forgot how considerate he is of others. Yeah, I can't even talk. My nose got burnt <laughs> yesterday. Sunscreen. Check this out. Don't fall down, baby. Oh, look, we got everybody on the rocks over there. We're all out there getting pictures and stuff. Let's walk out on these rocks over here. I'm surprised the whole of people over haven't here. recognized you. It's a famous YouTuber. Ooh, picture of a trash can. Family's trying to enjoy the day out. Wow. Oh, more talking of children. Over. Wonderful. How many people walking around these rocks? And over here. Look at this. Picture time, Tammy. Look at this. 
Let me pause just to get some pictures of Damien. Oh, look, he's feeding the squirrel. Is that a squirrel? What is, is that a squirrel? Oh, fat. He's fat because oh my gosh, they're that. very comfortable with people. Look at Cheetos. It's a little doggy over there. Look at all the squirrels in the corner. There's another one. Oh, look, they're everywhere. They're popping up. Look at this little guy, a new guy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the squirrels are everywhere. Here's another one. Yeah, they're friendly. Look, look at them all. Aren't they cute? The squirrels are cute. They are very chunky. They really are. Oh, that doesn't look like a... That's a different squirrel from the ones we have yeah, on these days. Here comes one out to visit. Check it out. They are chunky. <laughs> they're so... Look at that. They're so inquisitive. I think I have something for them. Sorry. I don't have anything for you, buddy. <laughs> what a shocker. Tim wouldn't even share a peanut with a squirrel. <laughs> unless unless you've got something in exchange, squirrel. And, and he's filming you, but he's still, you know, Tim has to get, you know, everything comped. So don't expect anything. <laughs> we are definitely not afraid of anybody. <laughs> Look at this one playing in the dirt. There's another one here uh, crawling up. Look at them. They're all, they're all over the place. Oh, great. <laughs> they are big squirrels. My goodness. Look they how are many there are. They're everywhere. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Look, look at that. Look at him looking in the... He's looking right in the camera. Oh, they're not scared of people. <laughs> all right, come on. Tammy's worried about them. They're, they're actually... You can't even count them all. There's so many around here. Look at oh, my gosh. Tammy is just so... Tammy. That's all I'm going to say. I don't like them. Okay, we don't need to know. I like actually looking at the animals. So I'd rather look at the squirrels than you. I'll be honest. If I had to choose two things to look at, Tammy shopping or squirrels looking cute around the beach, I'll take the squirrels every time. But Tim is kind of like a squirrel. He's like, oh, oh what's over there? Oh, let me point over there. Let me do that over there. <laughs> so you should be familiar with squirrels. This bird right here. In the shade. Oh, look, the scary. squirrel came and took it away from him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, the, the most interesting part of this video. Look at that down there, how pretty that is. They won't buy. They're very, very just inquisitive. They're like, do you have a Cheeto for me? Yeah, it is cold. They got swimming out there in that water. Just nothing but a bathing suit on. No wetsuit. Oh, my gosh. That guy is brave. Let me zoom in on him. Look at that guy. Oh, just going out there to the rocks. A little further out. We're trying to get there. Tammy this little guy. Extension. This little guy. <laughs> guy does not want to be filmed. Well, the puppy's cute. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, now he's... Uh, I guess, you know, Tim needs to bring animals into his content now because he's got to... You got to do something to make it interesting. I cannot believe that the person would let the puppy go up to him with him filming. I would be like, keep away from me, mate. He's, yeah, he's all over me. Look at him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're so pretty. Oh, my God. Aww. <laughs> hey, sweet. Don't go. Don't go. Right. Yeah. He's cute? cool. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, six weeks, three months. So cute. Aww. And friendly. That's a good way to raise it. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> so uh, you're not going to venture up in those rocks. It's kind of dangerous. He never asks anybody for permission for anything. He was lucky that guy was kind of cool and chill about it. I would not be happy if somebody just came up to my dog. I'm very particular about who is able to interact with Junebug. I don't need to be carrying a broken leg. Person back. Let me get your picture though. Him anyway. oh, Ready? God. One, two, three. Oh. All right, gotcha. Oh my goodness. Tammy, come on. <laughs> I mean, you know, I think it's important to always look our best, but I think Tammy does invest a lot of time on her appearance. But you know, maybe that's what she's, you know, accustomed to in her life. I just find it shallow. Personal. Got you on the photo, Obviously. video photo. <laughs> there you go. There's a sailboat behind us. <sighs> so we're uh, walking on out of here now, and I'm walking towards this smell of this grill over here. I wonder if they got a little extra. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. Already? 
I was hoping I wasn't going to have to do this today, but I guess I am. No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? I really thought I wasn't going to have to bring out old Judge Mathis today, but you're trying to dry bag off of somebody's grill. Oh, my goodness. The free parking, free this. I, I just think that's his mentality mindset that he has continuously had in his life is he hadn't had much. He's always kind of skirted by in life because he didn't like to work a lot of hours. So his whole existence has been about what can I get from other people? I, he's just he's just a taker i just i it just astounds me i not that i don't appreciate all the super chats and super things i promise you it is so helpful to me at this time i don't have a big youtube channel i showed what i made the other week on my channel and that was a good month for me and it obviously included all the times that i was reacting to constant tim content for a week so it gave me a better perspective as to why he produces so much content especially with his numbers and views and his subscriber numbers falling. Now, I will let you know, even though he is so laser focused on getting those 100K subscribers, the actual number of subscribers isn't really important, especially even to brands or companies that might want to work with a, an, a YouTube channel creator. They're more interested in the type of engagement your channel gets than the actual number of subscribers because you can be a big channel like Tim and still be getting, you know, view counts not dissimilar to a smaller channel like mine. But I might have a higher engagement rate than he does. So it just, it's not as cut and dry as I think that he believes. He thinks that if he pushes out more content and he gets to this high number of subs, it's going to help his channel out enormously. And that is not how YouTube works in its algorithm. Not anymore. Might have done in the past, but it's it's changing. And the things that advertisers, all of these things look for, it's not all the same. Just, just the charcoal and the uh, charcoal fluid smells so good. He's got something on there. People flying a kite. I'm going to have to kill it. I got some music over here. I don't want to. Oh, you know what that is? The guy's got him a grilled uh, cow pepper. Oh, that looks good. Big old grilled jalapeno pepper. All right, everybody. That was awesome. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's got that new <laughs> catchphrase. I, I guess the best cup of coffee or crushing it for Christ wasn't getting anywhere. I think people are realizing that Tim is somebody that is using religion for his own purposes, i.e. to manipulate his audience into making donations and trying to convince them that he's paying it forward. And now he's using this winning as if it's almost, I think, trying to, in a very unsubtle way, get back at channels like mine that do reactions and commentary, trying to say, I'm doing so much better. I'm winning at life. And the only thing that I can see that you won was a $58,000 EIDL loan that you took under false pretenses that your channel is tanking, your views are tanking, and that people are coming to the realization that your content is boring and that you have made money giving bad financial advice that you have tried to milk that one viral social security video to the end of its days, even shown by this hashtag, and that, that you don't do anything of quality. You would be better off having produced one video with the highlights rather than your point and shoot where you have, you don't know anything about the places you go to. It's, you know, my content's different. I do reactions. It's a different thing. And I know where I'm at. I do commentary. So I understand what I do within the world of YouTube. Tim, you are supposedly, I guess, a minimalist RVer. It, you need to, you, it's not that you have to have a niche, but you need to at least consider if I was sitting down, would I want to watch my own content? Awesome. Uh, Pacific Grove. No, that was not. Okay. Yeah, Pacific Grove. I was calling it Pine Grove. But uh, we got one mile down here to uh, Cannery Road that we didn't see yesterday. So we saw the uh, Monterey Fisherman's Wharf where the um, old fisherman's uh, what grotto. grotto was. Then we went past the cannery, and now we're up here at Pacific Grove. Now we're going back, and we found us a restaurant that we want to try. It has 
5,000 reviews and uh, 4.3 stars out of five. We have one mile to go and we're going to have lunch there. We'll give you the review. I wonder who's, uh, who's going to be picking up the tab. And I just always think if he's doing reviews, is he going to try to be like an influencer? I promise you, California tired of that stuff. Oh, I'm going to be doing a review for my YouTube channel. Do we get any comps or anything because of that? And I can promise you, restaurant businesses are not going to be wanting to do that at the moment. They're struggling to survive in this economy as it is with the prices of food products and services. And they certainly don't want a washed up YouTuber coming in trying to comp everything. Stick with Hilton Tom, who I'm surprised works for Hilton Properties, considering his behaviors in trying to bully and intimidate creators on this channel. I would be uh, questioning his employment if I were a Hilton HR manager. We'll throw down, we'll order what we like, and then we're going to get our steps in later. And this is what we're looking at. Well, I'm showing you the road there. Beautiful, huh? This is uh, my favorite so far is this part of the Monterey Peninsula. It's very and pretty. And second would be the um, I've never... where we were yesterday, for sure. That was... The only time I've been to California was to L.A. and <laughs> It was not that awesome in the mid-90s. <laughs> I went to see a concert uh, there for a grunge concert festival, and I flew in from Mexico City. But uh, I saw, like, I think Screaming Trees and Soul Asylum and a bunch of other bands. It was outside. I can't remember the name of the place, but it was outside. It was, and that was the one time, like, you know, I promise you, L.A. wasn't looking that good in those days. <laughs> it's nice. It's kind of all the same. But the houses and the streets up here were nice and wide. But that Carmel, that's not my cup of tea. That was one crowded, narrow streets with trees that are like so old and have grown in. You can't see unless you're on the ocean and the streets are very narrow. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's Hello, start morning. this. It's Monday. Oh. Yep. Early morning too. Oh, sorry. I got a little bit of Grifters Anonymous there. So go check out his channel. I need to learn how to stop those things faster. <laughs> but if you haven't checked out Grifters channel, go take a peek. <laughs> anyway, guys, I appreciate you hanging in here. It was a little bit longer of a react than I wanted. So let me just finish this out. Let me thank uh, all of my channel members here. I know I need to update this. I did get a recent new member with Miss Lee. So I'm going to make sure I add you to that list, Lee. But I did want to give a shout out to those folks. And if you did like this type of content, make sure that you subscribe, hit the likes. It helps me get up the algorithm and pass Sarasota Tim. And uh, just I'll see you on the next one. Okay, take care. Bye.